Sheldon, what are you getting at? That woman looks exactly like the pictures of Princess Panchali in the book. How often does one see a beloved fictional character come to life? Every year at Comic-Con. <laughs> Every day at Disneyland, you can hire Snow White to come to your house. Of course, they prefer it if you have a kid. Hey, guys. This is Lalita Gupta, Lalita, this is Leonard, and Sheldon, and Howard, and Penny. Isn't it great? She isn't fat anymore. Give me, Your Highness, for I am but a monkey, and it is in my nature to climb. I did not mean to gaze upon you as you comb your hair. I'm sorry? You are the living embodiment of the beautiful Princess Panchali. Oh, no kidding. Who, who is that? A beloved character from an Indian folk tale. Oh. Us Indian or come to our casino Indian? <laughs> you Indian. Oh. The resemblance is remarkable. I can practically smell the lotus blossoms woven into your ebony hair. Well, thanks. I imagine you smell very nice, too. I shower twice a day and wash my hands as often as I can. Really? So do I. But you're a dentist. He's nuts. Don't be insulting, Rajesh. So, Sheldon, tell me more about this princess you say I look like. It was said that the gods fashioned her eyes out of the stars and that roses were ashamed to bloom in the presence of her ruby lips. Oh, my. Back off, Sheldon. What? If you do not stop hitting on my lady, you will feel the full extent of my wrath. <laughs> I'm not hitting on her. And I am not your lady. Well, and you have no wrath. <laughs> You are my lady. Our parents said so. We are, for all intents and purposes, 100% hooked up. Okay, let's get something straight here. The only reason I came tonight was to get my parents off my case. I certainly don't need to be getting this old world crap from you. That's exactly the kind of spirit with which Princess Panchali led the monkeys to freedom. Oh, oh, oh screw Princess Panchali. Hey, you can't talk to me like that. But you're not Princess Panchali. Luckily for you, she could have you beheaded. Sheldon, are you hungry? I could eat. Let's go. What just happened? Beats the hell out of me. I'll tell you what happened. I just learned how to pick up Indian chicks. <laughs> Could I have everyone's attention, please? What a wonderful occasion this is. And how fortunate that it should happen to fall on Take Your Daughter to Work Day. <laughs> We're here to welcome Mr. Dennis Kim to our little family. Welcome, Dennis Kim. <laughs> Mr. Kim was not only the valedictorian at Stanford University, he is also the youngest recipient of the prestigious Stevenson Award. Youngest till the cyborgs rise up. <laughs> and now, without any further ado, let me introduce the man of the hour, Mr. Dennis Kim. Dennis? Dennis? What? <laughs> Would you like to tell us a little bit about your upcoming research? Oh, no, thanks. I'm going to the mall with Emma. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, uh, the kid got a girl. Unbelievable. Did anyone see how he did it? <laughs> Don't worry, I've got this. Ladies and gentlemen, honored daughters, while Mr. Kim, by virtue of his youth and naivete, has fallen prey to the inexplicable need for human contact, let me step in and assure you that my research will go on uninterrupted, and that social relationships will continue to baffle and repulse me. <laughs> Thank you. He's back. Yeah, mission accomplished. Forget the mission. How did that little yutz get a girl on his own? The best times have changed since we were young. Smart is the new sexy. Then why do we go home alone every night? We're still smart. Maybe we're too smart. So smart it's off-putting. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> All right, the winner of the match is... Well, hang on. Sheldon, is proving that you are single-handedly smarter than everyone else so important that you would rather lose by yourself than win as part of a team? <laughs> Forget it, guys. If I sell to one of you, the other two are going to be really mad at me. Who cares as long as you pick me? <laughs> OK, Leonard, put down the box. Let's talk. Sorry, Raj. My mind is made up. No, I can't let you do this. 
Sheldon, get out of my way. <laughs> None shall pass. <laughs> okay. I did not want to do this, but I have here the rare mint condition production error Star Trek The Next Generation Jordy LaForge without his visor in the original packaging. If you do not get out of my way, I will open it. Okay, man, be cool. <laughs> We're all friends here. What the hell's going on? You hypocrite. What? Little Miss Grown Ups don't play with toys. If I went into that apartment right now, would I not find beanie babies? Are you not an accumulator of Care Bears and My Little Ponies? And who is that Japanese feline I see frolicking on your shorts? Hello, hello, kitty. <laughs> okay, okay, look, if this is about yesterday, Leonard, I am really sorry about what I said. I was just upset. No, I needed to hear it. No, you didn't. Look, you are a great guy, and it is things you love that make you who you are. I guess that makes me large breasts. <laughs> Still, I think it's time for me to get rid of this stuff and, you know, move on with my life. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Good for you. Thanks. Hey, do you want to, I don't know, later? Excuse me. Penny. Hi, Mike. You ready to go? Yeah, I just have to change. I'll give you a hand. Oh, stop <laughs> it! Bye, guys. My turn on the time machine. What do you want, Howard? I'm fine, thanks for asking. I've come to call on Missy. Hi, Howard. The amazing Howard. <laughs> Do you like magic? Not really, no. Then you are in for a treat. <laughs> Behold, an ordinary cane. <laughs> Ta -da. No. Okay. <clears throat> Carol, remind me, I gotta introduce her to Howard. Oh, sweet Krishna, shake it at the rupee baker. I'm so sorry you didn't get your party. It's okay. Well, happy birthday, anyways. Hey, Penny, when, 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 when's your birthday? 